Hi, I'm Michaela, a yoga teacher for Nuffield Health. Welcome to Nuffield Health 24-7. Today we have a 30-minute yoga class taking you through all the warrior poses. You'll need plenty of space around you, a mat and some water to keep you hydrated. When you're ready, let's get started. So we're going to start in Savasana today. Come and join me laying down in a comfortable position. Extending the body out, relaxing the shoulders down away from your ears. And you might like to close down your eyes. We're going to take a moment to find our breath. Feeling the inhales and the exhales through your nose. Filling your lungs with breath. And then completely letting go. Finding a deeper breath, slowing right down to help clear and focus your mind. On your next inhale, let's take a full body stretch, breathing in, reaching your arms overhead, reaching out through the toes. Exhale, relax your shoulders down away from your ears. Taking another deep inhale. Exhale, draw your knees into your chest, coming into a ball, giving yourself a hug. We're starting to warm up the body, preparing for our sequence. Gently lower your feet towards the floor and bring the soles of your feet in together, allowing your knees to draw out wide. We come into a reclined bound angle. This is a lovely posture to help open up the inner thighs, opening up and releasing through the hips. Continuing to breathe, clearing your mind from the rest of your day and really coming into your practice now. On your next inhale, slowly bring your knees back together. Allow the soles of the feet to rest to the floor. We're going to come into a reclined twist. So extend your arms out wide, relaxing the shoulders down. Roll your knees over to one side, feeling a gentle rotation and release through the middle of the spine. Allow the shoulders to soften and melt into the floor. On your next inhale, bring the knees back to center. And we're going to roll over to the other side. As you exhale, allow the knees to soften, feeling that lovely release in your lower back. One more breath here. And we're going to make our way onto our hands and knees. So from this position, bring your back arm forward, rolling onto your side, using your upper body to just lift you out of the floor. 
Bring your hands under your shoulders, your knees under your hips. Draw the belly in and find a neutral spine. Relax the tops of the feet onto the floor. Eye gaze is looking down, so we keep the neck nice and long. We come to Cat-Cow. Let's take an inhale, lifting the heart forward as you lift your hips up. And as you exhale, start to draw the tailbone under, draw the chin towards the chest as you start to lift the upper back. Inhaling, drawing the sit bones up as you open your heart space. Exhaling, drawing everything inwards, become internal. As you inhale, we open up through the chest. And as you exhale, we draw the shoulder blades apart, really feeling that stretch in the back body. One more time, breathing in. And breathing out. From here, come back to neutral. Tuck your toes under. We come into a downward facing dog. Spread your fingers nice and wide and really press into the fingertips. As you tuck the toes under, we lift the bottom up to lengthen the spine. So you might like to bend your knees a little bit more here. Drawing your chest down towards the floor and your biceps between your ears, your eye gaze looks back. On your next inhale, we walk the feet in towards the hands, coming into a deep forward fold as we breathe out. Inhale, bend your knees, start to roll up through the spine. Exhale as we bring the head, neck and shoulders back to standing. We're going to come into our sun salutations now. So join me at the top edge of the mat. Let's find our mountain pose. Bring your feet under your hips and spread your toes nice and wide. Start to engage the quadriceps by drawing the kneecaps upwards. Gently tuck the tailbone under as we draw the belly in. Allow the shoulders to roll back and down. Palms facing forwards and we lift through the crown of the head. Let's inhale as we extended mountain. Exhale, we take a deep forward fold, bending the knees, bringing the chest down towards the thighs. Inhale to half lift, palms can come to the shins or to the thighs to lengthen the back. And then exhale, come down to deep forward fold. Hands find the floor and we step back to our plank position. For our first round, the knees can come down to the floor. Exhale as we lower chest and chin. And then inhale as we come onto the belly, relaxing the feet, squeeze the bottom and lift to cobra. Tuck the toes under, exhale, drawing into downward facing dog. Inhale as we start to walk the feet into the hands, coming back to our fold, breathing out as we fold. Inhale, bend the knees, rise to extended mountain. Exhale, we come back to mountain pose. Let's go through that again. Inhale, lift. Exhale to deep forward fold. Softening the knees as much as you need here to lengthen the back of the legs and release through the spine. Inhale, come to half lift. Focus on pushing the bottom back and the crown of the head forwards. Exhale as we fold, hands find the floor. We step back to our plank position. You can bring the knees down or you can keep the knees lifted. 
Exhale as we lower down for Chaturanga, stopping halfway. All the way down onto the belly, squeeze the bottom and lift up to Cobra. Exhale as we tuck toes, lift sit bones, come into Downward Facing Dog. Inhale as we walk the feet in, coming into our deep forward fold and breathe out again. Inhale, we rise up to extended mountain. Exhale to mountain pose. One more time, take a breath. Moving nice and slowly now, feeling the benefits of the stretch as we come into our fold. Inhale for half lift, lengthening the spine. Exhaling down as we fold, hands find the floor and we step back again to our plank. Breathe in, breathe out for Chaturanga. Join the elbows close to the body all the way down, untuck the toes, lift as we squeeze the glutes. Exhale, downward facing dog. On your next inhale, we walk the feet in. Exhale, deep forward fold. Inhale for half lift. Exhale and fold down again. Inhale, we rise up to extended mountain. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart center. From here, we come into our main practice. So we restart in our mountain pose. Let's step your foot back, finding a lunge position. Keep the back heel lifted, the front knee over the ankle. Breathe in, lift your arms overhead. If you suffer from hypertension or have any shoulder issues, feel free to bring hands to heart center. Now, as you inhale again, exhale, sink a little bit deeper into your lunge. We find warrior one, keeping the arms the same, land the back foot, the toes face out on a 45 degree angle. If your hips are difficult to rotate around, take your foot slightly wider away from your center towards the edge of the mat. We want to draw the hips square in line with the short edge of the mat. Breathe in, breathe out. Hold here for two more breaths. Pick up the back foot again, pivoting, lifting the heel. Bring your hands down to frame your front foot and we come into our runner's lunge. Draw the hips a little bit closer to the floor and just check that your knee is in line with your ankle. We're going to come into warrior three. This is a balancing pose. So we're going to shift the weight onto our front foot, stepping forward slightly, lifting up, keeping the knee soft, start to lift the back leg, sweeping the arms back behind you, reaching the fingers towards the back toe and aim to keep your hips and chest square to the floor. If this is too much of a balance for you, just aim to bring the big toe away from the floor as much as you can. We would like to try and get a long body line. From here, land the foot, come into a forward fold. Bring your hands down towards the floor. Take a moment to rest and feel that stretch through the legs. Inhale as we roll up. We're going to open up to a warrior two. Step your front foot back. The right toes face the right side wall. The left toes face forwards. The knee is above the ankle. The other knee we're drawing up. 
we want to level and square the hips, bringing the hips and the chest in line with the long edge of your mat. Relax your shoulders down. Inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, try and draw the arms level with the shoulders. Let's take a breath. Breathe in, breathe out. One more, and we're going to come to our extended side angle. As we inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, reach over to the side. Bring the forearm to the thigh, and the other hand comes up and over your head, creating a lovely long body line. On your next inhale, we come to a reverse warrior. Lifting up, keeping the legs nice and strong. Breathing out. Now open your heart. You can look to the sky. You can look forwards. You can even look down. Whichever position is more comfortable for you. On your next inhale, we come back to warrior two. Reaching forwards, again, your eyes can look to the front hand or face forwards. Try and relax your shoulders down away from your ears. This is a lot of work for the legs, so really breathe into it now. On your next inhale, relax your arms, lengthen your leg, and we're going to step into a mountain pose. We're going to repeat that sequence on the other side. So turn and face the other direction. Start with one foot forward, stepping back to our high lunge. Keeping the heel off the floor, making sure the front knee is above the ankle. Inhale, lift. Exhale, sink deeper. And again, anytime you need, hands can come to heart or even hands to hips is a lovely way to keep the chest open. From here, we land the back foot coming into warrior one again. With warrior one, we want to keep the front knee over the ankle and draw the kneecap up on the back leg. Square the hips, breathe in, Breathe out, coming deeper into the stretch. One more breath. Lift the back heel. We come back to our runner's lunge. Hands come down to frame the foot. Drawing the hips closer to the floor, keeping the chest lifted and keep breathing, feeling that stretch in the front of your hips. We come back to our warrior three. Again, we're going to balance. So find the position that works for you today. Stepping the foot in, shifting the weight onto the leg. Inhale, exhale. The breath really helps with the balance here. On your next exhale, hands can come down, foot comes down, and we find our deep forward fold. Inhale as we roll up. Let's sit up for warrior two. To align your feet, the heel joins the inside arch of the back foot. Knee over the ankle. Drawing the kneecap up, level and square the hips again, relax the shoulders. Inhale, lift your arms. Exhale, see if we can sink a little bit deeper. Really work in the legs now. On your next exhale, 
We're going to reach over, come to our extended side angle. Forearm finds the thigh and we reach through the fingertips, finding that long body line. Draw the shoulder down away from your ear. Let's find Reverse Warrior. Take a breath, breathe in, keeping the legs strong, opening the heart to the sky. Breathe out as we reach up and over. One more breath. Inhale, come back to warrior two. Exhale, sink deeper. Inhale, relax your arms, bring your feet back in and we come back to our mountain pose. We're going to come into our closing sequence now. Let's take a stretch for the legs. We've worked these muscles quite hard today. So start by taking your feet wide. We're going to come into a wide leg fold. Turn your toes slightly in and kick your heels slightly out. Bring hands to the hips, lift and lengthen through the crown of the head. Take a breath. Exhale, we tip at the hip bringing the hands down towards the floor. Depending on the flexibility of your hamstrings, you might bring your fingertips down, you might bring your hands all the way down, you may even like to start to walk your hands back between your feet. Just feel that beautiful release through the muscles. Also a lovely stretch for the lower back. From here, bring your hands all the way down to the floor. Bend your knees. We make our way to a seated position. Come and join me for a seated bound angle. For bound angle, we draw the feet together allow the knees to draw wide apart. We're going to open our chest today, so bring your hands behind you, drawing your heart open. You can look up to the sky as you allow the knees to draw down towards the floor. One more breath. Relaxing the chest, start to bring your feet back together. Let's come into a seated side stretch, finding a comfortable seated position. You might like to be cross-legged. If that's not right for you today, feel free to extend your legs out so you can anchor your sit bones. Bring your right hand down to the floor. Inhale, lift your left arm up to the sky, taking a stretch through the side of the body. Try and roll the shoulder back, so we're keeping the chest open here and feeling the stretch coming down through the rib cage. Inhale, let's windmill the arms, land the left hand down, bring the right arm up and over. And again, if you feel that shoulder roll forward, draw it back, really open up through the chest. Inhale, lift and lengthen. We've come into our relaxation meditation now. So find a comfortable position. You might like to come into Savasana. 
you may prefer a seated meditation or to lay on your side. When you're ready, roll yourself down, relax the shoulders, lengthen through the legs and allow the arms to rest alongside the body. When you're comfortable, feel free to close down your eyes. Let's start by taking five deep breaths. Breathing in through your nose and breathing out through your nose. Inhale slowly. Exhale fully. Inhale, feel the belly or the chest rise. Exhale, feel the shoulders soften and your heart open. Breathing in, full deep breath. Breathing out. Clearing your mind, relaxing all of the muscles, we're going to take a quick body scan to find a deeper relaxation. Continue to breathe, but pay attention to the muscles in the top of your head, your forehead, around your eyes and your jawline. Inhale. Exhale and release all of the muscles. Inhale. Notice your shoulders. Perhaps you can draw them closer to the mat, further away from your ears, opening the chest and lengthening the neck. Inhale. Exhale, relax your hips, your thighs. Breathe in. Breathe out. Relax your arms, maybe allowing the palms to face up and the fingers to curl inwards. Inhale. Exhale, relax and lengthen the lower legs, the ankles, the feet and your toes. Take a full deep breath again. And as you exhale, melt everything now deeper into the floor. Bring your attention back to your breath. And we're going to rest here for a few more minutes. Noticing the inhales and the exhales. The rise and the fall.
when you're ready to come out of your relaxation, start to bring small amounts of energy back into the body. You might like to wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes. The breath may come a little bit deeper. You might like to move your head from side to side. Maybe drawing the knees in towards your chest, giving yourself a little hug. And when you're ready, in your own way and in your own time, come back to a seated position. Let's finish by taking one full deep breath together. Breathing in. Exhale, hands to heart. Namaste. Thank you for joining me on the mat today and feel free to take longer in your relaxation. Take some water to rehydrate as needed and I look forward to seeing you again next time.